Hey guys, Andy Tran here, and today I wanted to go over field sharpening in a wilderness setting. When someone gets a knife from the store or from a factory, that is usually as sharp as that knife is gonna get because of uh, lack of tools or lack of technique in order to maintain that edge. The way I maintain my edge and the maintenance intervals that I put into a knife, my knife stays as sharp or sharper than a factory edge, which is a good thing because a sharp edge is a lot more fun to use when you're out in the field. And it's also a lot safer because you're putting a lot less uh, force into that cut. So there's a less chance of slippage and less chance of an accident. So in this video, I'm gonna go over my preferred tools in order to sharpen the knife, technique, and also my favorite way of an improvised sharpener in the field with natural materials. But before we get started, I wanna go over a couple of rules about sharpening. The main thing when it comes to sharpening is maintaining the correct angle throughout the process. The next most important thing is keeping the same amount of pressure and strokes on each side. And touch up the blade often, as a blade that has gone too far south is difficult to resurrect in the field. For the knives that I use, I bring two easy lap sharpeners, the 510 and the 530. The 510 has a medium and a super fine grit of 400 and 1200, and the 530 has a 1200 and ceramic side. The Easy Lap 510 stays in the pouch on my knife because this is the one that I use the most. For traditional sharpening, rest the edge on the surface and tilt the spine up until the gap at the edge disappears. Gently push forward and move to the side at a 45 degree angle as if you're shaving a slice off the sharpener. This is a really good method for smaller knives and people that have really good coordination. The way I prefer to sharpen is a little bit different, but it's a lot more effective for maintaining the correct angle on both sides. I rest the spine on a sturdy surface with the edge pointing towards the sky. I set the stone on the edge at the appropriate angle and move the stone in the same 45 degree motion as before. Because the blade is not moving, it's easier to observe the gap or over pitch of the sharpener. Your hands and wrists are also completely out of the way. Sharpening the other side of the edge is as easy as flipping the handle over, so there's no need to sharpen towards your body or switching hands. If there's a bad spot on the blade, I start with the 400 grit. This will remove a lot of material and cut really fast. The next step is to use a 1200 grit. This will start to smooth out the edge and make it really sharp. And last but not least, I finish with the ceramic. Most touch-ups just require the 1200 or ceramic sides. Finishing with as fine a grain as possible gives you the sharpest edge and will last longer by not having large teeth that can be rolled and will have less friction when cutting. My favorite way to improvise a sharpener is to shave down a stick. The smoother it is, the better it will work. I then get two wet rocks and start rubbing them together to start making an abrasive slurry. I then put the slurry onto the stick and let it sink into the grain. I then use this just as I would any other sharpener. So for me, sharpening a knife and maintaining my edge is a lot like cleaning my gun. I have a preferred method and I don't let anyone else do it. So if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, take care out there. Bye.